on the Diamond Notch Trail, heading up to Diamond Notch Lean To and also West Kill. So I'm going to summit West Kill, check out the view, hit the summit, come back down, and then check out the Diamond Notch Lean To. Uh, so let me get signed in and then we'll all get to hiking. Alright, here's where the fun begins. The trail goes that way. So it means I gotta get across this and then up, up there. And there's a blue marker way up there. Look at that. All right. So, just got to climb up there and pick up the trail at the top. All right. All right. Well, I made it to the top. And right down there is where I crossed over. And now I'm at the top and I'm going to continue uh, this away. I'm only uh, like 1.3 miles in now since the car. It's all frozen up this high. You could still hear the water running underneath of it though. Alright, so still not at the lean-to yet. Let's just keep going. And we've got a pretty significant climb coming up after the lean-to. So let's not hang around too long. <laughs> Alright, let's keep it going. If you stop too long, that's when you start to get cold. So, gotta stay in motion. Alright, we are high above the creek now. Still climbing.
Yikes. Trying not to slide down the hill. Man, tell me if you think this looks sketchy. Yeah. Man, I have to go back over that tomorrow. All right, looks like we're getting our first view. Although I'm sure there's better ones to come. Not too bad though. I'm looking at this big rock formation over here, man. It looks pretty awesome from uh, uh, from across this little valley here. All right, I am up and over the first climb, and now heading down to the Devil's Path, and we're going to pass by the Diamond Notch lean-to on our way, and it is very, very pretty in here, very snowy, very piney, <laughs> pretty awesome looking. And now, for a short distance from here down to the Devil's Path, it should be some relatively easy walking, except for the deep snow. And it looks like we have reached the Diamond Notch lean-to. Let's go check it out for a minute. All right. Well, I won't be camping in here, that's for sure, but so all right, there is the diamond notch lean to, and uh, let's check out this privy. Uh, it's like in a big snow drift. Hello. Oh, yep. Standard privy. Man, I bet you it's cold in there in the mornings. <laughs> All right. Let's uh, see if we can get to the top of West Kill. Check out some views and then come back here and camp. Back on trail. It's right over here. All right, there we go. We're going down to going down to the Devil's Path from here, and we're still on the Blue Blaze, but we'll be picking up the Red Blaze and making a left turn to go up West Kill. And it snows really deep still. 
Maybe next winter I'll get snowshoes, who knows? <laughs> Jeez. Alright, we are coming down to um, Diamond Notch Falls, I believe. And the bridge where I was when I went up to Hunter the second time I went. Uh, going in the counterclockwise direction. I stopped at this bridge and I thought I would like to go see the Diamond Notch Lean To, but then I never ended up doing it because I was just too, like, I don't know, too exhausted. <laughs> So here we are on the other side. All right, connecting the dots of my previous hikes. Let's see if we can check out the falls a little bit. The falls are like right over there. I don't think I want to risk going down there uh, without a rope. <laughs> uh, I can go down a little bit. Look at all that ice. Wow. pretty cool but got more important things to do right now I'm trying to get to the top of Westkill Mountain all right 2.23 to the summit of that away So far, the trail coming up here is pretty steep, but it's only 2.23 miles, I think, right? So, you know, taking it a little bit at a time. No rush. No rush. Here we go. Another push. All right, well, still climbing up West Kill, and we are about at 3,200 feet in elevation. And although the trail has been steep in sections, there's been nothing sketchy, that is, until now. Hmm, don't know how I'm gonna get up this section here. I do have spikes on, but even with the spikes, I don't know how this is gonna work. Yeah. <sighs> you know, <laughs> it wouldn't be the Catskills if it wasn't for some sketchy section where you half risk your life. If it wasn't icy, it wouldn't be that bad, but I see a huge <laughs> section of ice right there, so. All right, I'm gonna try this. Not gonna film it, because I don't wanna die. <laughs> Uh, luckily, it's a short section. I don't think uh, I don't think uh, there's too many other sketchy sections. I think this is pretty much it, hopefully. Uh, so, if there's a clip after this, that means I made it. If the video ends here, that means I didn't make it. <laughs> I'll make it. I'll make it. I'll probably grab this tree, that tree. Go up that snowbank, that snowbank. It's probably it probably looks worse than it is, that's what I think.
All right, so I am at the top now, and it turns out it looked much more sketchy than it turned out to actually be. Uh, basically, it's just like I said, uh, grab that tree, grab that tree. You can walk across the middle, and then there's a bunch of roots over here that you grab, and you just walk up on these roots. Uh, it's really not bad. You're up in like, you know, 30 seconds. So, on we go to the top. Well, we are up here in the snowy pines now. This is beautiful. The snow-covered rocks. Really nice up here. A little bit of work to get up here, but not really that bad. Oh man, trail's getting pretty steep now. But can't be much more, can't be much more elevation, right? Gotta be close by now. <laughs> Look at this wall. Look at this wall, straight up. Oof. Alrighty. Okay, still climbing. And we are now, according to the sign anyway, we are now at 3,500 feet in elevation. So just a little bit more to go and we will be at the top. I can almost see the top now. And then I'm gonna take my pack off, put some more layers on, get a drink of water, maybe have a snack, and then get to the peak, and then start heading down. All right, well, I finally made it to West Kill Mountain Summit, according to the sign anyway. Um, I, I bypassed the overlook, uh, which is just before you get here, uh, because there were some people there, and I wanted to give them some time to hang out and check out the view while I finished reaching my turnaround point. So... This is the highest I'm going to be for today, and now there's nothing left to do but head back down, check out the view from the overlook, and then go back down to the Diamond Notch lean-to and start setting up camp. That'll be awesome.
All right, so I am on my way down from West Kill. Um, after I went to the peak, <laughs> and then I went back to the look, at the overlook. Uh, the original people had gone, and like new people showed up, and I really couldn't, uh, you know, do a whole lot. I tried to capture some of the views as, as best I could, and I really didn't want to hang around doing, doing lots of talking, so I just grabbed some shots and then uh, started heading back. So, um, looking forward now to uh, getting back to the lean to and finding a nice spot to camp. Alright, made it back to the bridge. Now, nothing left to do but the final climb of the day back up to the shelter. Oof. Cannot wait to get there. Right. It looks like we have made it all the way back to the shelter. Man. I am whooped. And uh <clears throat> I'm just glad it looks like looks like nobody's here. All right, so I made it. Man, that was a lot of work. Um, so I'm not, I'm not sleeping in there, but I will probably go back over there somewhere. Uh, that looks like a nice tucked in area. There is another area down there by the, there's like a little uh, spring down there, but it's a little, little more uh, exposed. And anything else, you gotta climb up, up into the, snowy pines up there which looks nice but I don't know if I want to be up there all right so mm -hmm, just having a little just having a little welcome to camp snack a little appetizer before dinner Oh man, does, does this taste good right now? It's just a little ramen, chicken ramen. And I got my hammock set up over there, although it, it's a little breezy and I need to fasten it down a little tighter, but that's ready to go pretty much. And I'm just hanging out in the shelter a little bit, eating my appetizer. And uh, I don't think I'm going to do anything with this fire. I mean, I like to think I have pretty decent fire making skills, but this may be uh, too much to ask. <laughs> I think I'm just going to change my clothes into some dry layers, eat my dinner, and go to bed. All right. Well, there's my there's my setup. It's not perfect, but hopefully it'll get me through the night. This end is a little weird, isn't it? I don't know why this end looks like this. 
think I gotta tighten this up or something. It's so weird. It's all asymmetrical and everything. I don't know. All right, let's go to the shelter and have some dinner. Yep, doing the fun shore of filtering water. Um, after this is done, I'll have enough water for dinner and tomorrow. And then I'm going to eat dinner and jump in my hammock. Looking forward to that. It's going to be dark soon. It's going to get very cold soon. And I just hope it's not windy, that's all. Well, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> Fun. Alright, so dinner tonight is going to be classic spaghetti and meat sauce. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. Just waiting for the water to boil over there. I'm trying to block the wind. Not doing a good job. Oh well. All right, here's my dinner. Spaghetti and meat sauce, and it's pretty awesome. Of course, everything tastes good after a hike and when you're in the woods. Cheers. Good morning. All right. So, all packed up. Didn't leave anything behind. Left no trace. <laughs> now back on trail. And er, now trying to get through this sketchy section from yesterday. Yikes. Just trying not to slide down the hill.
right. Got across that no problem. <laughs> now there's nothing left to do but get back to the car. Coming back to the car now. The adventure is over.